Okay, I've gotten the rights. You can take them back. Um, that's already. Thank you. You will come back to the next session. Um, I hope the last session was uh, helpful. Someone just to summarize a bit of what I was saying last on the last session, what we know that you know, we are on the same page. So that now I want to explain um, how the, the anointed one, the word, comes in the world and the uh, and the world kills him, and after three and a half days he rises up and is taken into the clouds, and all the significance. Someone else. Summarize. Brother Monza, do you want to summarize a bit what you heard? Oh, Brother Leonard. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, wow. Though I joined late, but the... I heard about uh, something about Christ. Why are you saying uh, uh, Jesus of Nazareth did not come to die for for every person that is uh, uh, in the world? And uh, you quoted the scripture in the book of John 11, uh, uh, 45, go down to 48. To say the, the Pharisees said, No, you people you do not understand why it's because if we let uh, the situation be uh, on one man, the Romans will come and they will, they will, they will, they will, they will grab the nation from us. Uh, so you, you connected to say, Actually, the Jesus did not come to die for all the people, but he probably he died for probably that part of the nation uh, to make it uh, uh, probably clean. Uh, that's what I heard. I don't know whether I'm correct or not. Maybe can you give me the, the correction there? And you quoted the scripture in the book of Revelation 11. Which you haven't even given unto us up to this time around. Awesome. That's, That's it. Maria. Thank you, sir. Anyone else who wants to add? Uh, uh, Leonard? Leonard, you want to add? Uh, no, Rev. I think uh, uh, Brother Mwabe summarized eh, as we were going towards the end. Yeah. And uh, maybe just to say that. Uh, I've just learned that we are all learning to be righteous and we are all, in the, we are all sinners. So I think uh, God is using uh, the ungodly to, to, to clean all of us. I think that, that is all I can say for now. Awesome. That's very good. We are on the same page. Can, is my voice uh, audible? Uh, very loud and clear, sir. Thank you. Yeah, so... Yes, I was saying that uh, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, Job 9.24. He covers the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he. Then Psalm 61, verse 2, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. See, David welcomes the challenge of people uh, doing that to him, although it was painful, but it was God washing him thoroughly and cleanse me from my sin. Because at the end of it all, this message we are preaching, brothers, every one of us will be exposed. And, and those who are, not, who are not strong, they will live because of shame. Or they will live because they, someone has been exposed and then I, I condemn Mwape for that, saying I, I cannot relate with Mwape. David says in Psalm 51, verse 3, for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. That we know that, I know that, my sins are all are ever be before me. That's why if I've sinned against anyone, sinning, there's no sinning which is uh, 
a good scene. It's always bad. Obviously, if, if you say I've seen the game, so it means I've made you feel bad. So you can't even know, but the rave scene will just be on, on top of the roof. You can see. Uh, David says, 53, for I, for I acknowledge. So we need to acknowledge our transgressions and my sin is ever before me. And I, I was saying God is using humankind. I, I, and I was trying to differentiate, you know, the English language is a logical language, sweet language. This language we gave to Adam is a very good language. It's called they are mankind because they are not fully human. A man is one who has the word of God in them. A mankind is just a kind of a man from the original. The original man, I said, is the one with the word of God, with the word in them. Other than, so that, that's what we were trying to talk about. So that's why we are saying that when uh, God gave, uh, like I was saying, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It looks like the righteous have gone to sleep. You see? But now the wicked man's world is dying. We have noticed in the religion, the religious groups, they have made Christianity, Islam, everything, uh, philosophy, science, the, the wicked man's world is dying. Then I said I was going to explain Revelation chapter 30. I'm sorry, Revelation chapter, chapter uh, 11. Is it chapter 11. Let me look at it. Let me find it. But otherwise, like I was saying, as we continue going to understand these things, Christ, the Jesus of, of Nazareth, as a person, did not die for the world as a human being. No, the word of God is always dying for the world. But, so uh, we, we, we are going to explain that. But Jesus, as we saw, uh, was killed, was allowed to die by the Pharisees for them to survive the wrath of the Romans. So let's read uh, before the time goes. I know time flies fast. Revelation chapter 11, verse 1. And there was given me a reed, like unto a rod. And the angel stood. Remember, angel is a messenger. Say, like I'm, I'm a messenger now to you. Arise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them, and them that worship therein. The word of God is doing that all the time. It's measuring us and it's, it's you no, know, and, and it's measuring the temple. Remember, you are the temple. Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar. You are the temple of God. You, your mind is, is your altar. Then, and then, and them that worship they are in. Verse two, but the court which is without the temple, leave out the wicked, leave them out and measure it not. That's why even when somebody exposes you of your wickedness, even if it's not true or it's true, you have no right to go and clear your name. Because what's going to happen is that both of you will be speaking and you look the same. Even you, in clearing your name, you, you are going to be trying to expose them. They are the ones who are evil. So the Bible is, is saying, leave it out, leave them. And I'll give, he says, but the court which is without the temple, leave it out. I don't judge them. I don't, I don't speak the word to the people who, who won't listen to it. And measure not, it not. I don't measure them. For it is given unto the Gentiles. And the holy city shall they tread underfoot 42 months. Remember, the world has been given to the wicked. They are trodding on the holy city. And I'll give, but remember the two witnesses. Verse 3, and I'll give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and six court days clothed in sackcloth. The two witnesses, the word, and the vesture dipped with blood. The two things we all talk about, the two minds, the, the human mind and the spiritual mind. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the Lord 
before the God of the earth. And if any man will hate them, remember those people who are hating you, what they don't know is, is that they are not, they are not go, going to go what scot free again because their word which will preach shall judge them. You see, and if any man will hate them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth. What comes out of the mouth? What is fire? The word. And devour their enemies. And if any man will hate them, he must in, in this manner be killed. Sometimes people are killed, not somebody who exposes you. They, they may not be killed physically, but they are killed in their mind. They go never to understand the truth and the word of God. All they do is say those people are evil. And in them going away from you, they miss out on the on the word which is living in your gesture. So, uh, the six, these have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues, and often, as often as they will. Remember, the word has power to do that. I showed you. When you don't listen to the word and you start poking the earth, you are going to unleash the plagues and all those uh, other things. This, this is the seven, listen, 11, seven. And when they shall have finished their testimony, there's going to be a time when God uh, is, is done now burning us. That's why Paul says, therefore I die every day. Paul, the son of man, was a killer before God raised him up. And even him, if you notice, God took him in a place that he had to die. He even It's like the word was dead. The son of man was, was dead. Paul died a miserable death. Paul was beheaded because of the testimony of the so-called Christians, so-called religious people, people who knew him the most. If you read Paul's letters, you realize that when Paul was taken before, before Emperor Nero, in Rome to be judged. The one who came and put the final nail to his coffin was Alexander. Alexander was Paul's elder in church, in, in, in the household. Someone who was always with Paul preaching and going around preaching, went and preached against Paul before Emperor Nero. And Paul was sentenced to death by beheading and they chopped off his head. And obviously, if you live during Paul's time, you would have left Paul and said, Paul is not a man of God. How come he has died? Because the word is not, is, not a, is not me. The word will always be there. It will always find a flesh. The word is strong. It stands on its own. But it, is, it comes to you through a man, just like it came to Christ in Nazareth. It came to Moses in his time. So, verse 11, 11 the sense, and when they shall finish their testimony, the beasts that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. Paul was killed by the beast, by satanic minds. Remember I told you that the bottomless pit is, is, is Satan. They killed him. But the word, when Paul died, the word had, had to go to heaven. He had to resurrect again, not as the flesh, I'll show you. Listen to this, this is what is happening. Verse 7, and when they shall finish their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. They kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of, of, of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Listen to that verse. I asked a question last Sunday. Was Jesus crucified in Sodom and Egypt, the Jesus of Nazareth? Brother, Brother Mwanza, where was Jesus crucified? In Palestine, isn't it? Someone? Jesus was crucified in Palestine. But the Bible says in Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Sodom and Egypt is a symbol of, the, of, of, of Satan's world, commercial world. This civilized civilization we live in. See, it, it, it's always killing us, using our sins. We are sinners, but when the word comes in us, they expose our sin, and, and sometimes they will kill us physically or spiritually. 
So, so Paul died, and his dead body figuratively laid in the city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, just like Christ died. David died, Moses died. He was killed by people. David was killed by his son by sleeping with his stepmother. He died uh, emotionally and the people laughed. He says, and they of the people, verse 11, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in the graves. Remember, the Romans now stole the concept and gave you that Jesus died for three days and a half and then he rose up. You see, verse, verse 10, verse 10 says, and they that do upon the earth shall rejoice over them. When they do that to you, we have fixed him. That man must not be allowed to hate another person. We have exposed him. Moape must not, do, you see, they will, they will rejoice over him and, and, and make merry and shall send gifts one to another. Because these two prophets tormented them that were on the earth. Verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. Remember, after three days and an ascension of Paul. You see? Uh, it says, and the, after three days and a half, the spirit of the life from God entered into them. And they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Paul, in his, the, the word which Paul gave you, is standing on two feet and is judging people now. You are reading Paul's accounts. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. Just like they said, Jesus went to heaven in a cloud. And their enemies beheld them. Remember, the cloud, scientifically, holds moisture, holds water, and water is the word. So when Paul died, he ascended in the cloud. In the cloud is in the scriptures. Okay, sorry. In the scriptures. Paul lives in the scriptures now. David lives in the scriptures now. Christ lives in the scriptures now. He also ascended because that's what is happening. Mwansa, when he does his job, they will kill him. He will rise up. He will live in the scriptures, in the clouds, in the minds. The scriptures also could be the written words and the minds of the saints. Is it making sense? Are we together? So that is what's happening. So when the, the Romans created the story of Jesus, they just replaced that that's, um, analogy. Or is it um, allegory? Remember, before they, they created Christianity, they, they believed that they believed in a in Mithras, the sun god. Mithras was a dying king, was a dying god, dying god who rose up. You see, it's a concept of the spirit being trodden, being rejected in this world. But afterwards, it vindicates itself. It rises up and it's caught up into the cloud. The cloud holds waters. The word of God is water. Symbol of the word of God is, is caught up into the word. The truth still judges you. It will come and judge. Remember, Christ says, the words which I speak will judge you. I will not judge you. Let's pause there and ask questions. See if people are getting this. Any questions? Questions? Moape, you want to say something on that? Moape? Um, I'm still trying to process, but uh, maybe just um, just uh, some points of interest. Um, I think uh, some of the thing, one of the most important points I think that was um, emphasized was the aspect of creation. You said uh, creation is an ongoing process and uh, we are always destroying and rebuilding. So the aspect of the truth, once it enters into the body, 
the body needs to die and it has to be rebuilt again. So I think uh, in that regard, I, I appreciate the, the concept of um, the creation being an ongoing process. It's, it's a constant thing in, in, in our lives. And the moment creation stops, then life ceases to exist. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Um, Leonard? Uh, nothing from me, Ref. Abusa Mwanza? I don't know. I think everything is okay. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, so that is what happening. Um, how, how many minutes do you have, Mata, again? How we have minutes? 10 minutes, sir. Oh, good. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, so that is what is happening. Uh, we, the, the, the truth is being rejected. The truth is coming close. Why the truth is being rejected? Because it's coming into a vesture deep with blood. It's coming into Brother Mwanza. And when people who knew Brother Mwanza before, and remember Brother Mwanza, or Reverend Sopa is, is a man, he did awful things. Then they see him speaking that truth. They reject it. And sometimes they kill him. They, they will speak evil things against him. I showed you of the, the different men of God who went through all these things. They will do that. They will, they will reject them. They will kill them. Then, then after, after some time, remember the, the truth, the word is, is going to judge the world. The word is going to come out and judge them. It will rise up on its two feet and be taken in, into, into, into heaven. So that is what is happening. Any questions? Any questions? Remember, I showed you that uh, Satan is an angel. Also, the Bible says, says that he's an angel of darkness. And we agreed. Even today, I've said the world has been given to the wicked, to the devil. We agreed that an angel means a messenger in whatever form. So if, if Satan was, a, was an angel, then he was a messenger. And the messenger, has no agenda of himself, of his own. That's why for us, Moape, we cannot judge people who, uh, who would do us harm because they have been sent by God with that agenda. Remember, because an angel has no agenda of their own. If that, that gossiper, that backbiter to you, Brahmanza, that man who's speaking evil of you at the office, he has no agenda of his own because God has allowed it. You see? And then it's God trying to, to, to allow that person to be eligible for the word to dwell there. So a messenger has no agenda of his own. He does what God tells him to do. And that's what he cares about. And, and that's all he knows. Like Satan, he was given the message, I mean, to, to bruise the heels of the word carrier. Remember, in the book of Genesis, it says, Satan shall bruise your feet. Oh, it's, it's, most of the times, our feet are bruised. But well, you remember, when your feet is bruised, sometimes you fall. But the Bible says again, but we are going to bruise his head. Meaning, we will destroy his mind. We will replace that mind with the mind of God, but he's been given, he, his, mes his message, his agenda is to bruise our feet so that this, this vessel, Mwanza vessel, vessel should be embarrassed of the things it has done. It, it, it is cleansed, you see? And, the, and, and, and so he, he, that's what he does. He, he, he does what God had told him to do 
and that's what he cares about, and, though, and, and, and that's all he knows to do. What God told him to do, and to think that Satan is at war with God. Someone starts telling you that Satan is at war with God. Brothers and sisters, that's just Greek mythology. Even say, you know, Christ went into heaven in the cloud, Ooh, they saw him. That's Greek mythology. Satan is an angel of the bottomless pit. We have established that. And we said the brain is a pit inside our skull. You see? And that's why we say the devil is the angel of the bottomless pit. Because he, he feeds in your mind, which is your bottomless pit. Bottomless means baseless, knowledgeless, senseless. Satan is an angel of the bottomless pit. The brain is a pit inside our skull. That's why we say the devil is the angel of the bottomless pit. Brain is the bottomless pit. That's why the devil is thrown into the bottomless pit. Remember the Bible says, Ramanza, he was thrown into them. He was thrown into your head to confuse you into, into the bottomless pit. Not that in future when God comes, there'll be this cheap pit where they'll throw it. No, literally, no. So I, I'll show you that our minds are pits. We read uh, Romans. 3 verse 18 we said their throat is an open sepulchre the human throat is, is an open is an open pit pit it's an open pit it's an open grave their throat is an open sepulchre with with their tongues they have used deceit the poison of asp is under their lips mm -hmm. So that's what it's saying. If you see now uh, Revelation mentioning it, it says that in the book of Revelation 9, verse 1, and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth. Unto him was given the key of the bottomless pit. See? He's a messenger, he's a star. He was thrown into the bottom. He was given the key. That's why he's got the right to mess you up. They have got the right to mess you up. And you open the bottom of the pit and they, arose, and they, they arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the, of the, of the smoke locusts upon the earth and, uh, and upon them was given power as the scorpions of earth have power. Mm -hmm. They were they have been given power. They they they, they 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 play with the earth and the earth just becomes intoxicated. They've been given that power just to 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 mess up with the earth for six thousand years. After six thousand years, we will have to take over. Like I told you. The world is dying out because now we have come as the sons of God. I don't want to go further for today. I think I'll end there unless there are any questions or we want to have discussions. Because I know if I start a, a, a topic again, I'll be cut off. How many minutes, Mwape, again? Uh, six minutes, sir. Yeah, so in six minutes, we can have a chat. So someone who wants to say something, ask something. Anything? Uh, no. <coughs> I'm following Rev. Um, I, 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 I think um, I almost laughed when um, when the part for certain being a messenger was um, highlighted and.
Yeah, it's so funny that we don't get to really like process all these things once we are taught about them, once we read about them, and how we take things from a literal perspective when something is very figurative. So um, I, I think uh, from where we're coming from, the background, what we're taught to say there was war in heaven, war broke out and Satan started fighting, started fighting with God. And uh, it's it's so funny because um, I think as you've put it to say that was just a messenger and the messenger has no power to to fight the person who grants him those powers. So and it's pointless actually if we were to look at it. And um, the fact that uh, Greek mythology has been used and how they've incorporated the doctrine of Greek Greek mythology into the Christian doctrine, I think it messes everything up at the end of it all. Yeah. And uh, I think that's just an, an enlightenment, so to say, and how we can look at things from a different perspective, unlike from what we've been taught all along. Yeah, just a line of thought. Anyone else? Abusa Mwanza. We want a sermon from you. <laughs> uh, I well, I've heard what I've said. <laughs> uh, I've actually hundred percent heard that uh, uh, that the uh, the devil uh, has been thrown in the bottomless pit. The bottomless pit is something that has uh, no sense at all. You can't uh, take knowledge from it. So that's why it has been uh, thrown to mess us up. And uh, uh, we we are in it until probably six thousand years when they are over then the children of god will come over and uh, take up uh the situation like we are doing right now i think uh, it's okay and i also like loved something that you mentioned about the two um the the, the two witnesses in the book of revelation chapter 11 uh, I was comparing to what I knew some time back, and I also uh, loved it to say, you, you said the, the two uh, witnesses are actually the, the truth, and the, which is dipped in the, uh, in the vesture of blood, which is, uh, which, which is very good for me. I've understand that, and the, I've also understood that uh, we are on the face of earth to, to be corrected. We are not just here to say, no, we are holy and we, 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 we don't have fault. But we need to, to know that uh, God has given us this understanding to help us so that we, we, we venture uh into the truth no thank you that's very enlightening man of god thank you very much Bro brother mutema now uh, maybe just a quick question uh, i know you said the the, the two witnesses are uh, the physical and the spiritual and they're supposed to be working together so now, uh, maybe w what is leading to them not working together? And uh, how do we go about it, uh, bringing the two together? Or do we have that power or we don't have the power to do that? Does anybody want to answer that before I chip in? Someone wants to answer that? Mwape, you want to try? Um, maybe due to the interest of time, you can just take it up because we have less than a minute. Oh, oh yeah, less than a minute. Oh, and maybe I'll be cut off. Okay, what I'll do is uh, I, I will do um, a, a voice message on our WhatsApp group, but when it cuts. Yeah, so like I said, the two minds, the, the first mind and the second mind, the first Adam and the second Adam, 
the mind which became certain because it rebelled. The two minds are brothers. And remember I said for us to create a new life, the two will, will have to come together one day. That's why if you see the idea is like Baramanza was saying, the idea is...